foolish mortals have mastered anime. Alright, so I'm taking a little break from Final Fantasy Type Zero to bring you this special announcement. I was watching the latest death battle between Chuck Norris and Sega Gachu. Oh, whatever his name is. If you want to know what happened, you can go watch it. If you want me to tell you, I'll tell you in exactly five seconds. Four, three, two, one, zero. So pretty much uh, it was a draw, but as expected, and I expected that outcome to happen because these two guys are like gods, pretty much. And then I class by themselves because God knows I mean, it can't be Chuck Norris, I mean, apparently it can't be this other Sega guy, guy. Because he's pretty practically immortal. Alright, but that's besides the point. The next upcoming death battle is between one of my favorite characters in manga history versus a guy from Soul Calibur. Guts or Gax in, in the actual manga anime. He is also known as the Black Swordsman. What he is, is a protagonist in the famous manga series known as Berserk. Now, if you haven't heard of Berserk, you, and you love manga and anime, you are sorely missing out, okay? So the story behind Berserk is pretty much Guts, or Guts, whatever you want to call him. He is pretty much run, um, wandering the lands, trying to get revenge on a sin that was done to him and his love. As he went to this tree land, he faces off against a horde of demons and monsters. The reason why is because he is also branded. He has a mark on his neck that forces demons and other types of nasties in the night to chase him and his loved ones, right? And there's a whole story as to why this is happening to him, but pretty much he has come to terms with this fact and has since then learned how to fight and cope with these uh, horrible, horrible circumstances. He carries with him the Dragon's Blade um, that was created pretty much as a sword that no one could use, but he's the only one to use because of his sheer strength. And through training and one of his skills, he is quite efficient at using it. Not only that, the sword itself has absorbed so much essence from demons and stuff, it's the only weapon that is known to actually be able to hurt entities in Guts' world, like super strong entities that would otherwise be totally impervious to any weapon on earth. The reason being is because, as I said, the sword, when it killed weaker demons stuff, the blood of those demons soaked into the weapon, and over time it's just become an entity of its, in its own right. Even when Gats is offered magical weapons and stuff. Another thing about Gats too, he wears his armor known as the Berserker armor that allows him to fight even in situations where he shouldn't be able to, like i.e. broken bones, freaking ripped flesh, all that stuff. And it will allow him to fight pretty much until he is totally done, like dead. And it's also been hinted if Anyone wants to die in the in while wearing the armor, that they are also able to come back as something else. Um, we don't know exactly what happens if you die wearing the armor, but as I said, in the Mac series itself, there's this being that helps Guts all the time who was said to have worn the armor. And whether it makes you into a monster or immortal, I was not really sure, but all I have to tell you about the armor is that it gives you immense strength nullifies pain and mends bones so you can keep fighting but at the cost of a user's life so pretty much the armor pierces your body to hold your bones and stuff in place to keep you fighting and keep you going and you'll feel no pain while wearing it but obviously that's a double-edged sword because if you're bleeding out you want to bleed out you know with that being said guts between him and fighting against Nightmare, who is pretty much a first blade, right, who uh, infected the soul of Siegfried. Uh, I will say Guts has the advantage in this one because he hunts demons every single night and day. He, the only time he has actual rest is during the daytime, 
unless he meets up to our Apostle. And again, I could go to get I could get into this entire series, but it will take a while. And you're probably like, what the hell is our Apostle? Our Apostle is a very freaking strong demon, pretty much. So Guts fights beings like nightmare pretty much for like in the afternoons between three and four before you go have like run and tea and, and cookies, you know what I mean? The guy is a demon slayer pretty much in a nutshell. He's like Dante on steroids with all, all the fancy demonic transformations and stuff. So you guys tell me what you think. If you don't know anything about Guts or Guts, I would say check it out. For Nightmare, I'm not going to worry too much about him because everybody must have played Soul Calibur and if you haven't, pretty much Nightmare is an entity that exists in the sword, you know, um, Soul Edge and if you get the sword, you're close with him and he makes you into a really super strong fighter that uses dark powers and stuff but there's more to the legend than that too but it would, as I said, these two, if I was going to make a video on everything these guys have done it would be insane. I think Gax is going to win because he, in the, in the Berserker armor with that sword, he's done crazy ass feats like even defeating a dragon, cracking an ar like armor that was pretty much like uh, thought to have been totally impervious to blunt attacks, right? He cracked the damn crystal this dragon's made out of. He broke his shield. Um, Freaking Mordong armies was one of two people to fight against a demon when he was still totally human. One of two people in 500 years to fight against this freaking thing and live to talk about it. This guy is unreal. On fucking real. So, like, comment, subscribe, and take care. Hope you have a great week.